so this is what we came up here for it's not a great attachment point but we're not gonna take it out because can you guys see the ground you can't see the ground right <laughs> if it does break right here it won't even make it down there and if it does it's gonna get slowed down by all this foliage there you go it's all yours Good morning my peeps. Today we're going to be pruning this big Douglas fir. So we're going to be pushing this right here back and a couple of uh, branches that stick out at the top. Some dead, a little bit of clearance. It should be pretty straightforward. Quick climb and you boy slimping because I went on a big ass hike and then I rubbed a lot of skin out of my foot. So. Yeah, slow and steady today. That was a pretty good shot. We're way up here. Look at that. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Damn it. That's our drop, drop zone. Should I even go up further? Want to do that one right there? And then that over there so I'm gonna have to go up and down a couple times it is what it is so I think I'm gonna tie in to that up there this little ridge it's a little concerning but um I think it's it's fine and that twisting it's also concerning so we're gonna go scope everything out up there from down here uh, look at this attachment point right here this is really solid so not extremely concerning because it's kind of upright but uh, we're gonna go all the way to the top and see how everything else looks Running, huh? Need to clean my zigzag. Okay, Gory, I got one on. Hold it. Can push it out a little bit. There you go. Whoa! Damage the big stem, it's fine. Nobody saw that. I think there's still plenty of meat, but never mind. Okay, headache. Yep. Wow, this is a very shitty pruning cut. I mean it's right to the collar, but that's very very bad that's a bad pruning cut yeah i mean it might look pretty from down there but this is too close in my book That, that better that one up there was very very close I mean it'll be fine man this, this really sucks so ideally I needed to put this rope on this side so we can either pull it up or I would have to put it on under it so I can run right there I didn't do either so now I don't even know if this is worth it
we there you go so there's one now the one next to us oh I see it it's right there little stubby but I'm gonna call it good for the pruning cut yeah ah so I can make a better pruning cut there you go now got a little bit over there and then that's it on this side like if you guys can see right here all those branches are already pretty thin so they are long but we've been making and weight reduction pruning cuts over the years so yeah we're not gonna sit here and chase everything Oh, that's a pig ear. Is that better, Corey? Still a pig ear. Okay. It's gonna stay a pig ear then. Hey, how's it going? All right, take two. Switch. Climbing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, let's keep going up now. So we're looking at uh, weight reduction on this big lateral right here. This big lateral, and you guys can see there's been plenty of cuts already, but um, it's hard to tell from down there. So we're gonna go and do a little, a little more in weight and that guy over there and then possibly the one over there so one two three big targets all right my peeps so this is what we came up here for checking out this ridge right here making sure that there's nothing else happening there's no bulging um it's not a great attachment point but we're not going to take it out because let's see it's like 15 feet 20 nah, 15 from there to the very very top very very skinny top um can you guys see the ground you can't see the ground right <laughs> if it does break right here it won't even make it down there and if it does it's gonna get slowed down by all this foliage so this is good still um we're gonna make a pruning cut up there on this guy because that's not our primary top there's no drop zone so hopefully I can hold on to this possible headache hopefully not there you go oh. Thank God. Okay, so now, bringing this bad boy back to this. So the collar is right here. And we're just gonna follow it, my peeps. We're not gonna put an angle or anything like that. The, the tree will know what to do. Now we can get this guy. There. You guys can kind of see where we taken it before, which is right here. I'm going to do just little ones. Just in case they hit the the power line 
so there. There you go. So we got this right here, which is this long lateral. We got that right there, which is this long lateral. We got the one over there. So now we have that one over there that's going towards the neighbor and this here. And but yeah, if I would have just went over there, I would have been like real nice and straight here. But yeah, let's just get it get it over with. I can do it. I can do this. Grab it right here. On this side have more control. Just leave it right there. Hey, look at the front yard. Too late. Yeah. Ah. All right. Cool. So, like I said, very limited um, drop zone. So instead, I'm gonna do one of these. Put it in something really tiny and choke it. And then it's almost like I'm lowering it with my hand, except I'm using a rope. Yeah, I can move it around. Yeah. There you go. Get out. There you go. Alright, Corey, that's it. If you can unclip it, it would be great. So this top, like I was telling you guys before, even if you make a good pruning cut, tree's gotta do what a tree's gotta do, my peeps. Because once I cut it, guys see this we have taken the top out before this is a new water sprout so it's got to do what it's got to do there's a little top coming out so we're gonna keep reducing this forever i feel like but uh even if it's to a good pruning cut it's still gonna sprout somewhere where the light allows it huh what am i doing to it just uh hold it don't let it run I can take over after this pruning cut. Okay, Corey, I got it. There you go. It's all yours. Make a few small cuts on this. It doesn't really need much. doesn't have much yeah it only has like two little cuts headache yeah okay so there's one Ooh, heavy Headache. Please stay. No. Oh, there goes the wire, probably. There you go. So one 
cut, two cuts. That's it for this one. Something similar to that or that. I don't remember which one it is. And then something right there. Hey, Corey. Yep. Can you keep tension on this uh, rigging line, please? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it right there. Let me make a pruning cut. Can you see it, Corey? I can see it. You want to grab the rigging line? Okay, it's all yours. Okay, can I get somebody on the line? Please and thank you. Pumping island. Pumping island. Alright my peeps, this is what we ended up with. So fairly clean canopy. Yeah, so all the big big dead wood make a huge improvement for looking under the tree. But uh check out this pruning cuts. So big pruning cut right there. A uh, few up there and some at the top. You can't really see the ones at the top But uh, yeah, super straightforward Short little climb for you boy. Thanks for watching catch you on the next one. Peace Quick walk around of this truck because you guys asked for it and we're gonna do just uh, Very very basic. We don't want to put company names out Chips go there giant box, which I'm not gonna show because we have company names and stuff but uh, floor box and then gear box super handy for throwing all your stuff and it's a cab over of course which is really really nice for tur turning radius and then uh, paperwork sucks <laughs> Sick of riding. <laughs> so then, yeah, so super nice, super uh, uh, straightforward. Um, like I said, cab over. Big old box here for you boys. Uh, here, extra saddle. Regular saddle goes here. Uh, I like to do a lot of step lining, so we keep this handy. Um, if you are in the tree business and are thinking about getting a new setup or replacing your setup go with the cab over man can't go wrong um, also we have a chainsaw box and gas box right here <laughs> so yeah anyways ah uh, dude okay no, just kidding. Let me cut it. Sign it with blood.